Hi Gemstone, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your reading. We're going to do an eight card spread. I'm going to tell you what's going to be coming up for you moving forward. All right. Some of you guys know I just came back from my 10 day trip with my family. We went to Egypt and we also went to Turkey. So I am still a little bit jet lagged, but I'll be okay. Okay. Just let you know if I do yawn, it's because of that. Um, on my lips, I am wearing the Eclipse Gloss in the color Amethyst. It's my darkest color out of the whole um, collection and it kind of just matches my vibes today because I'm on some gothic shit I guess <laughs> I don't know what I'm on this is a comfy outfit so that's why I'm wearing it but it kind of matches my vibe so I'm wearing amethyst on my lips today all right so let's get started with the reading let's see what's going on with my gemstones Give me some cards, please. I do um, offer personal readings, and I also have same-day personal readings. As long as you purchase before 6 p.m. EST, then you do get your reading on the same day. All right, if not, then you'll get it within the first 24 hours. All right, so let's see what else. So you have the Wheel of Fortune, so things are coming full circle for you, um, and there's a lot of positive changes coming towards you. I don't know what's going on. So you either dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius or neither, but we keep getting this King of Cups and it keeps coming in the second position of each reading. So it's so weird. It's like, what is happening? I'm like, I feel like this is like deja vu. For the past three readings, King of Cups has came up in the second placement of these cards and it's weird to me. So you, you have some changes coming towards you. Part of that change is a person, a man, or a masculine energy coming towards you. Very lovey-dovey. Someone you haven't spoke to in a long time. Someone who's been very indecisive when it comes to your connection or you've been very indecisive about this person. Two of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone's been hasn't been able to make up their mind when it comes to you or moving forward with you, but this person's coming towards you, okay? They've been watching you a lot. Page of Swords. Sorry, guys, I'm a little freaked out because this card keeps coming out in this way and it's just so weird. All right, let's see what else is coming out for you for the next four cards. All right, the star card, okay, what else? See, you're getting a lot of attention here, Three of Cups, especially by your friends. So your friends seem like groupies or there's people who are groupies towards you, but they're going to be your friends. So you have some kiss-ass friends. But they're, they got your back, though. And when I say that, I don't mean to say that in, like, a mean way. I'm just saying, like, there's some friends who are really kissing your ass coming up in October. I don't know why, but they are. So we're going to see what that's about. Three of Cups, Star Card. What else? This could be because you're about to get some recognition or you're getting more popular. So your friends don't want you to leave them behind, Gemini, okay? All right, we have the Fool card here as well. What else? And the Three of Wands. Yeah, you have some really great things coming in for you. may not be... It may not be in October that you're getting these manifestations, but I do feel like before the end is over with, you are. You're putting down, you're laying down the foundations to get it. You're also taking risks that you weren't really taking in the past. If you're a business owner, you're doing something completely different than your usual routine. But this shakeup is bringing you a lot of um, popularity and a lot of blessings. If this is just in your regular career, you're starting to work outside of your comfort zone. You're working with new people in your company. So maybe you have coworkers that are your friends, but now you're working with like the supervisors or your bosses and it makes you a little nervous because they're watching everything and they're a little bit less lenient, but this is gonna bring you a lot more um, um, promotions and better positions in your career. So there's something that you're doing that's shaking things up from what you're used to, but it's going to be very positive for you. So even if it feels a little nerve wracking, I feel like still go for it and still do this shake up because a lot of positive things from stepping outside of your comfort zone with the full card. Now you have a lot of positive karma coming in for you. Gemini, which means that you've been working diligently, keeping your head down, staying out of the bullshit and the drama lately. You have this King of Cups coming towards you, someone who has deep emotions for you at this time. I feel like there wasn't a lot of action taken from this person in the past. This person kind of acted very helpless, okay, when it came to the situation. Like, they couldn't make a decision. They couldn't come to a decision of taking action towards you. Now, I feel like this person's coming towards you still kind of confused, okay, this person, but very like they can't ignore their feelings for you anymore i don't know what this is this person's been watching you a lot as well they do want to come in very genuine and make an apology or tell you that they miss you all right so what's 
what's the um overall energy is the page of cups okay genuine energy coming towards you based off of how you treated people or situations in the past okay so a lot of blessings returning to you that you you definitely are owed okay talk about this will of fortune for my gemstones Finesse. Tower in reverse. Something that you felt like wasn't going to work out is actually going to work out way better than you thought. And maybe it needs to take a little pause, okay? So I feel like something came to a halt that you thought was coming to an end, but it did this so that something could be worked out behind the scenes for you. Tower in reverse. So something's not falling apart like you thought. Yeah, the hermit. You haven't heard, you haven't heard from the situation or this person in a while, but they're coming back better or the situation's coming back to you better. But it could have been out of sight, out of mind now. So you forgot about this situation or you forgot about this person or forgot how much you wanted this situation to happen. Now that it's coming back, it's kind of like, oh, you again or oh, this again. King of Cups, please tell me about this person. Justice. This is weird. Uh, telling you weird energy, similar cards, Sagittarius reading. This is like Sagittarius's reading or Leo's that I just did today. Okay. So justice, so someone's coming in to make things right from their past, being you, you're from this person's past, they're from your past, they're coming back around to make things right with you, okay? How would you know who this person is? Six of Wands, this is someone that used to give you a lot of attention, so when they did fall off the face of the earth, the hermit, definitely you notice because their attention started fading away. This will also be someone who has high ego. So you never thought you would get an apology from this person or see them trying to make things right. You felt like they would just fade into the distance. But no, this person is actually coming back around to make things right with you. Two of, two of swords, okay? Five of swords in reverse, okay? So this person felt defeated for a while. I feel like when you guys did stop speaking, you spoke your mind. You gave them a piece of your mind. You told them exactly the type of person that they are. It did bother this person. It also made them feel like they didn't know what to do next. How are they approaching you now? The moon card. Lots of emotions that they've kept hidden for a while because they couldn't express it to you. I feel like this person is ready to tell you what it is. They also feel like you judged them incorrectly. So there's something behind the scenes that you didn't know for how this person was acting towards you. If that matters or not, I feel like this person wants to let you know that now. Okay? Two of Pentacles, please. Nine of Cups. When this person comes back towards you, Gemini, you will be unsure whether to give them a chance or not. You do like this person. When they come back around, you'll remember all the reasons that you did like them or how handsome or beautiful they are. You are fond of this person, but you will feel like, is this going to slow me down? Is this even worth me looking back, you know, to my past? I should just be looking forward. You may also have some grudges that you may still have or hold towards this person. And you're trying to figure out if they're even serious to keep holding on to or not. Star card, okay? So there's a lot of energy coming towards you. You're very popular too these days. You're wondering if this person's intentions to come towards you are pure. Because the Eight of Cups, because they had no problem leaving you behind. But now that you're kind of shining bright like a star, you're wondering if that if that's the reason that this person's coming back towards you. I feel like this person doesn't really even know that you're shining bright like a star, but they will get a glimpse of it by watching you. So I feel like this person comes back, starts watching you to see if it's the right time, notices, wow, you're popping right now. So that's, you know, it's not like they came back for that reason. It's like they're just... They're catching a glimpse of this as they're coming back, okay? Now, when it comes to this friends, tell me about this friends, these friends that you have, these friends that are really like up your butt right now. What's going on with that? Emperor is here, okay? So someone could, they could feel like you're really focused on your goals right now. You're not really being as love, lovable as you usually are, Gemini. You're not hanging out as much. Every time you do come around to hang out, you seem like a stick in the mud. Gemini, you're usually the life of the party, but it's like you're you're very distracted. And I feel like you're distracted in your mind by your future. That's something that's very important to you right now. So your friends may feel like you're fading. Um, yeah, five of cups, you may get a complaint from your friend that you don't seem like you're interested in this friendship anymore. Your friends feel the five of cups a little disappointed in you lately because you're not turn up king or queen or you're not really like showing them you're interested. It's not that you lost interest, you just have more interest in your future. Star card again for the for the Three of Cups. Three of Cups star card, please. Your friends feel like you're fading away because you're getting more popularity. I don't feel like that's it. The Hangman, there's something that you're 
fixated on and you won't be able to party or pop out until the hangman until you're released until you really see this for what it truly is i feel like you're really focused or fixated on something pertaining to your future and what you want and until you feel secure in that that's when you'll be able to pop out more but for right now you're kind of stuck on that hangman yeah fixated on stability your future stability you know you want to buy you have goals of wanting to buy a house or have a solid business or have some kind of stability for you and your family and or have a future family maybe right and it's like popping out right now is not a big deal to you. You're literally trying to build some kind of stability for your name or for your future. So your friends are just going to have to understand that. But I also feel like you you can explain that to your friends too. And they can take it or leave it. All right. Um, but I feel like your friends are supportive. But they just feel like you're kind of like being fake or something. But you're not. I feel like you're just kind of just focused on your future. I don't know which other ways to keep saying that. Page of Wands, that's something that really excites you. Hanging out with your friends right now is not really exciting you. Your future is what excites you. Like sitting in your room, taking your notebook out and jotting out all your goals or your future endeavors. That's what excites you right now. You'll have time for them again. But right now, you're going through a deep transformation in your next chapter in life. What's the full card, please, for my gemstones? So if you have a Gemini friend, if you're cross-watching... Asking them about their future endeavors, their business that they're trying to create, um, their career, that's going to be very exciting for them. You'll see more of them if you're able to have conversations about that. All right. I also feel like there's a friend like an Aries. You and an Aries could be really close right now. You could be finding a good friendship in an Aries because they're sharing the same mindset as you right now. The Fool card is a Six of Wands. I mean, sorry, Six of Swords. So you're 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 taking risks to start a new future for yourself, a new life. You feel like, okay, I've lived this life. I haven't really been moving along. It's because I haven't been taking risks. I'm going to start taking risks now um, because I want to see something different. I want to see what, what's going to shake in my life. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. You're no longer guarded or fearful about taking risks. You're just going to do it. And if you fail, you fail. And if you succeed, thank God, right? Three of Wands. This is bringing a lot of beautiful things into your future, Gemstone. Let's talk about it. Nine of Pentacles. Know that nothing's going to happen overnight, but you are building the foundations for a long-term stability, like Ten of Pentacles energy. Lots of wealth and money. Nine of Pentacles. What else? Eight of Wands as well. You will have a lot of signs that are going to confirm that you're on the right path. Or you're already getting those signs to tell you to go on this right path that are leading you. You also have a lot of um, connections coming in through taking these risks that are going to be very detrimental in this new life that you're about to live. What else? Queen of Pentacles or King of Pentacles, I'm telling you. Taking these risks are going to bring a lot of stability in for you. A lot of money, okay? It's going to allow you to take care of your family and also for future generations, generational wealth. We'll talk more about that. I'm going to leave out the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles for the Extended. So we're going to go into Extended. The link will be in the description box down below. We're also going to keep out this King of Cups and a Justice because obviously someone's coming back around to make things right with you. And you may want to see what's going to happen with this person. We're also going to keep out the Three of Cups because you may want to know about any things going on with your friends. Will there be any drama? Will they be understanding what's going on with that? And the Emperor because there is some kind of Aries that you will be coming in contact with or a business owner that's going to be a really good friend to you. We're going to see what's going on with that. All right, so in the extended link will be in the description box down below. You can either choose to get it individually, which will be the first link, or you can choose to go on the Patreon and get all of the extended readings for the month that I've posted in the past and the new ones um, on my Patreon for your Zodiac sign, or you can get them for all Zodiac signs. There's a set subscription price for that. You guys can see that by clicking the second links that I'll have. You can just read the description box. I'll direct you how to get there. Also, um... I am doing personal readings right now if you're interested. I do have same day readings. I did say that in the beginning, I believe, or maybe I didn't. Same day readings as long as you um, purchase before 6 p.m. EST. If you purchase after 6 p.m. EST, then you'll get it within the first 24 hours, okay? All right, so we're going to get the last words for you and we're going to get your emojis. Then we're going to go to the extended and get your person's last words and their emojis, okay? All right, so let's see. Give me some last words, please, for my gemstones watching. Give me some last words for my gemstones watching right now.
All right, we have pizza in reverse. I don't know what that's about. So Italian food or pizza. Maybe you've been eating a lot of pizza so you're sick and tired of pizza. So that could be something that someone likes to order or you like to order, your family likes to order, or a person. It's like if someone asks you to go eat Italian food or pizza, you, you just might throw a fit. Also, be careful of pizza, like frozen pizza or something. Maybe you might get sick from it. I don't know what that's about. Also, let me write down your your um title. What is what should I name this video? All right, sorry. All right, let's see what what three, because I'm gonna do three and then I'll do the rest in your extended. Oh, I'll do this one. This one and we'll do, huh. We'll do this one too, interesting. All right, so we have drunk texting you. Okay, so you might get a text message from someone who may be a little under the influence, or this could also be you. We have, I don't like your friends slash family is here. Okay, so that's interesting. All right, and we also have I'm pregnant surprise. We have some more cards here as well that I'm going to read to you guys in the um, extended reading on your behalf. But let's go ahead and get your emojis to end off this situation, end off this reading. Oh, look, guys, and it's two, two, two. Oh, cool. All right. Anyway, let's see. Oh, give me some emojis for my gemstones watching currently. Okay, something about like a small car, like a smart car, a small car, a Prius, or a blue car. Somebody has a blue like um Jeep, or someone has like a blue like um what is it called? Like SUV, but a small one. It's kind of small. Okay, something could be happening at twelve twelve or 12 o'clock a.m. or p.m. Also, we have like this little light tower. I don't know what this is, guys. Honestly, I'm not, the, I don't know. But you could be dealing with the Leo because Leo had this come out for them as well. Something about up. So I feel like you're on the way up or you're all the way up right now or you're literally leveling up and people are just watching this happening before their eyes. We also have something about a cloudy day. Someone could be reaching out to you on a cloudy day, but it's sunny, but you could barely see the sun. I don't know. All right, so here's your emojis, okay? All right, so I'm going to end it there, guys. Make sure to like the video, please. It helps me out a lot. It helps my channel out a lot. Um, comment down below, even if you don't want to comment about your... Huh. Even if you don't want to comment about your situation, tell me about the type of friends that you would like to see in your life. Like, what's your ideal friend? And tell me, do you have friends or do you not have friends? Um, also, too... Um, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next video coming out soon. Follow me down to the extended. The links will be in the description box down below. If you want a personal reading, you know where to find that. Link in the description box down below. If you want to shop my store, um, any of my products, I'm pretty sure you'll find something that you really like. Check out my store. Link in the description box down below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in extended. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>